Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandad. Happy birthday to you. <sighs> Happy birthday, Grandad. I've got some news. Mm. Oh, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> However, work Christmas due four months ago. Straight to the pub, recession, brilliant idea. Ryan found the perfect place. It was off a side street, which suited me, obviously. I was a bit worried about John from marketing. He won't touch a drop of drink. He'll die of alcohol poisoning. But the rest of us have fun. <laughs> Spent most of the night dancing. But it's changed since these machines got built. Well, like the rest of the world, I'm sure. We all do the same old things. Just don't think about it all that much. Try and work around it. I'm like you, moving away from the cold. At work, Sophie knows she'll die from a fall. So she never even goes upstairs. That's the other thing about the pub. Had to have a downstairs loo. I'm used to mine now. But it does still bug me at times. You don't have to be in a car to be killed in a car accident. Well, like you said, it's the details that keep you awake at night. I mean, people were afraid of dying before these machines came along, so they haven't changed the big picture. <sighs> then you had all these... <sighs> suicides in the beginning. Life goes on. Turns out Ryan's an atheist like me. His grandmother had used one of the machines and was told she'd die of liver failure. She had regular checkups, so they were seemed fine. Then one day, Ryan went to visit her and she was sitting in her chair, dead. She died of food poisoning. Turns out she'd eaten meat well past its sell-by date. Liver, of course. Maybe God wants us to know how we'll die, but he couldn't believe in a God who'd make a joke out of it. Liver failure. Melissa's a Christian. The old style, you know, the kind who thinks Harry Potter encourages voodoo cults and so on. She doesn't approve of the machines, though. Which is unusual for a Christian. Is that true down under? That's the biggest change these machines have caused here. Now everyone can see our deaths must be destined. People turn to religion. Crumbling old churches fall to bursting all of a sudden. And the machines are at the heart of it. God wants us to know how we'll die. Death reading's just as important as a baptism now. I heard this interview with Rowan Williams. Christians should live their lives like Jesus lived his. That's what he said. And of course, Jesus knew how he died. His whole life was built around that knowledge. So the argument goes that good Christians should do the same. Atheists are rare now. We're a dying breed. <laughs> At the end of the night, just me and Ryan left, both drunk, dancing, flirting. Okay, I've liked this guy for ages and I'm not getting any younger. So, fueled by six or seven flaming Sambucas, I wade in for a kiss. And he turns his head away, starts checking his phone, talking about leaving. And I can't believe this is happening to me again. So I confront him 
What exactly is your problem, Ryan? Am I that repulsive? And he says, I think you're great, but I can't go out with you because I'm gonna die in a car accident, same as you. And if I go out with you, then we're asking for it. We're begging to die. And that's when it struck me. The real difference in attitudes. What makes me different from Sophie and Melissa? What makes Rowan Williams different from Richard Dawkins? It's not the religion. It's the way we treat these machines. And suddenly I saw it so clearly. The machines don't kill you, I said. They're just tools, handy information to help you make decisions. I don't mind dying in a car accident. It might be quick, but it doesn't have to be soon. I might still live to be 100 years old. If you don't like me, that's fine. But I like you, and I'm not going to back away because of a piece of paper, are you? <laughs> not the greatest speech in history, but that's a drink for you. Anyway, it worked. He took my hand and said, do you want to find another pub? And we did. We talked and talked, we didn't stop. I told him about you, pneumonia. And I told him about mum. I told him what she did. Kill herself because a piece of paper told her she would. We've been going out four months now. We don't talk about the future too early. But he's met Dad. I'm secretly hoping to meet his family too. Maybe one day we'll move in together. Get engaged get married, have kids, who knows? I hope so. And then, in the distant future, when we're both 100 years old, maybe then we'll go for a drive. Gotta go, Ryan's here. Happy birthday, Grandad. Mm.